sport at Duith is unique with our boys from all across New Zealand. They bring their own hometown feel of sport that then blends on the, on the field here at Dilworth and then it's really cool to see them go back to their regions and represent their regions often at, at a higher level. Yeah, we've got a range of sports across both summer and winter codes. The uh, traditional sort of big sports of, of rugby, basketball, football in the winter along with hockey, a few racket sports, squash and table tennis programs. In the summer we have volleyball and touch, tennis, cricket, along with a range of fitness programs uh, where boys can run, swim uh, and join a. We also have a few sports that go all year round, things like wrestling program. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a, a climbing wall on site and a, and a climbing team that uses that. We're unique here at Dilworth in that sport is a compulsory part. Uh, there's not many schools that do that anymore. So all our boys are involved in sport. And for that, that means we need a range of opportunities for the boys to be engaged, that they enjoy and that keeps them active. Dilworth basketball has a rich history. Uh, back in the early 2000s, it was considered one of the best programs in the country. The goal is to bring the basketball program back to its glory days. The fact that we have a smaller amount of students here, we're able to focus on those students a lot more. Uh, the coaching quality is better. We have less players and more coaches, but also it gives us the challenge of facing these schools with bigger populations and just gives us something to really challenge ourselves and to attain to. We really value high level characters here at the school and our sports program is about competing and getting better, but more importantly, it's about developing good young men. So some highlights in Dilworth sport over the years. Had a number of boys go on to representative honours uh, in recent times, uh, Philip Hutchinson in, in touch. We also had Edward White last year make the Auckland Blues under 18 team who went on to be named our Sportsman of the Year. And we've also had Angus Tarvel uh, represent the All Blacks in recent years. Essentially what we're trying to create here is we're trying to create young men who leave the gates of Dilworth on their very last day upholding the school values and we see rugby as a major part of the journey for these young men. Uh, rugby's tradition been a very popular sport here at Dilworth. We have uh, five teams here at the senior campus. We have a team at the rural campus. And this year we have enough numbers for three teams down at the junior campus. We've been pretty busy here over the summer and at the start of the year uh, bringing more coaches into Dilworth. Uh, Ant Strawn who's been involved at the Auckland Blues has come in to coach our first 15 along with Sam Ward who's been involved with North Harbour and had coached Tonga age groups. So we're delighted with the calibre and the amount of coaches we have for this season and we think that all these coaches can add to the, to the rugby journey of our Dilworth students. It's a unique position for us to have the boys on site here during the week. So that opens up huge opportunities for us in terms of training in the mornings, afternoons and evenings, as well as sort of the nutrition and things like that that we can control here on site. So the culture sport at Dilworth, it's, it's more than just something that the boys have to do. It's something that they really buy into and that we work really hard to make it a fun and enjoyable experience for them. And we want them to engage in that, engage in things that they enjoy. And through that, we want them to learn to work hard to support your mates and to represent the school with pride.